cool. Okay, so tonight we're going to be changing the viscous coupling on the W202 rally car. The tools needed are a 36 millimeter spanner and some Allen keys. You will also most likely need a metal rod of some sort or wherever that I put that. Oh, here it is. My makeshift hammer, given that I couldn't find a hammer in my lovely garage, which as you can see is very tidy at the moment. Okay, so if we can get the camera in close, I'll, a flashlight's helpful given that I'm doing this at night, but I've lost mine. Ah, there we go, thank you. So, that's the viscous coupling there. You'll notice, the keener amongst you, that it's already loose. That's simply because I've just taken it off and decided, oh wait, let's make a video. Anyhow, method one, the problem is that and that are connected. So when you, it's a left hand thread, so this would loosen it. The problem is, hold on, let me tighten it a little bit so it doesn't fall off, okay. The problem is, when you loosen it, the engine will spin with it. Can I do, get the engine to spin with this thing? Somehow? I'll just that one. The problem is, when you try to loosen it... Oh, that's tough. The engine will also spin. I'd love to show you. Anyhow, so method one was put that there and give it a stiff whack. The problem is, mine wasn't very comp compliant, and it just spanned the engine with it. So method two involved taking a metal rod, kind of shoving it between one of the bolts under the other one and holding it there while at the same time, is that the right side? Yeah. Well, at the same time loosening it with a spanner. As you can see, that was only half tied, so it's already fallen off and loosened. Once that's out, kind of have to because I'm too lazy to remove the shroud. It is doable to remove it without removing the shroud. It just requires a little bit more patience. Let's take that off. I do apologize for the color of my engine. That's something I did when I first got the color of my That's the other way to get it out. But the color of my engine was when I was 17 years old. So I'll take that off, grab that. And up we go. Right. So this is a bit greasier than it was a few minutes ago because I've already sprayed WD-40 on it. The issue is that little metal flap there is supposed to put pressure on the fan so that when it heats up, that doesn't spin so loosely. That's totally buggered to put it in nice terms. So what I've just done is grab some WD-40. Make sure those are a bit loose. Grab the little thingy just to clean it out a bit so that I can actually get my Allen keys into that. Wherever I put those, there we go. It's part we find out we don't have the right size of Allen key. Six, 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 I need a five. We don't have a five. I think we're out of the five. Yep, we need a five millimeter Allen key, which we do not have. Do we have a five millimeter Allen key? We may have. Um, okay, pause that. 